is that there will still be a lot of evidence that will not be presented. Um, if you rest at this point, you could no longer go back to the process of presenting some of the witnesses and some of the testimonies that have actually not yet mm. been presented in the trial. Actually, to be honest, this is the first time uh, I've come across uh, fiscals resting simultaneously in bail and evidence in chief when the accused has been given the opportunity to present rebuttal evidence in support for their petition for bail. I want to see what the rebuttal evidence is before I rest in my evidence in chief so that whatever it is the rebuttal evidence will be, I still have a chance diba, to also present evidence as part of the evidence in chief to secure conviction. But if you're not even going to bother to wait for them to present their rebuttal evidence, diba? and you know, I can't help it eh, that you know, think that they are not yet presenting their rebuttal evidence. Why are we not waiting for them to present their rebuttal evidence before we present, uh, we rest in our evidence in chief? Yun hindi ko it was a concern that had also been shared by two other private prosecutors. To me, that is uh, a call, you know, a warning that maybe we need to call attention to this moment in the trial because it would be a time that we would lose the opportunity to present important evidence that could make a difference in the end. Once you file your formal offer of exhibits, that's like saying you are no longer presenting any evidence. When you say bail proceedings, just to oppose bail. But when you say evidence in chief, you're saying in the whole case, you're saying that uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think I have presented enough evidence to secure a conviction. Parang tinapos mo na ang pag, parang tinapos na namin ang pagkakataon na maari pa kaming maglahad ng iba pang ebidensya. It's as if we have given up uh, a second chance. Clearly, even the judge, ju judge herself said, "Why are you resting your case on the primary on the evidence in chief? Yun yung substantive evidence already, where then the defense can question. If you rest, then you limit your scope of evaluation for that primary evidence. Actually, that's not procedural, na eh. Uh, usually, what we do is we always resolve the bail first. In fact, um, I believe last March 24, I was reviewing the court minutes. Even the uh, trial court pointed that out that let's resolve the bail first, therefore rest in bail, and then let's wait for the defense to present their rebuttal evidence in support for their petitions for bail, and then let me resolve the bail. And then you rest in evidence in chief. And then let's remember there are still uh, a number of accused at large, no? Among them, si Kanor Ampatuan, si Banarin Ampatuan, si Mama Ampatuan, they're still at large. If we rest against, uh, let's say, accused one to 57, Let's not name them na lang, no? Accused 1 to 57, we rest both in bail and evidence in chief, no? Um, and then you present new witnesses, present new pieces of evidence against those who are still at large and then are eventually arrested. Those evidence cannot be appreciated against the accused for whom uh, prosecution has rested. When we say we rest, no, that means we are no longer waiting for the higher courts to resolve that matter. We are no longer including their testimonies as part of prosecution evidence. So it's sort of like a waiver. Kumbaga parang we're no longer waiting for it. So wala na, hindi na siya kasal. And as far as I know, there are witnesses who have not yet been heard, who have not yet been presented. So I'm asking the question, why the rush? To me, the, the desire for speed is there, but we will not sacrifice speed. We would be failing in our advocacy if we said, oh, sige, bilisan na lang ninyo. 
if I listen to the president who says he will ensure there will be convictions by 2016, maybe that's a possible explanation, no? Minamadali nila para bago matapos ang termino ng ating Pangulong Pinoy, eh, meron ng conviction. Pwede, no? That may be the reason. But, um, we all know, I mean, any lawyer would know na pag pinag-usapan natin ng criminal case, proof beyond reasonable doubt, pag acquitted yan, double jeopardy will set in. Kahit na may bago ka pang ebidensya dyan, pag acquitted na, hindi mo na sila maisasalang pa uli sa harap ng isang hukuman. Ano? Uh, they were assuring me na, you know, prima, we can still present rebuttal evidence. But I, as I said, no, but rebuttal evidence will be limited as to what the defense will present. So, what are we talking about here, you know, by resting in evidence in chief against the accused who filed for petitions for bail? That's like, that's like tying our own hands. Parang kinuha kong tali, tinali ko sarili kong kamay. Why would I even want to do that, di ba? It's like uh, denying myself elbow room to maneuver so that I know I can secure that conviction for the victims. Lessening our chances of presenting evidence that would... Um, 101% uh, assure us of a conviction. Parang ganun yung pakiramdam ko. I think the executive would like to have a resolution of this case. Who would not? We do too, you know, whether... And we would like that to happen as soon as, as it can happen. But I do not think, if we say administration, the president or any of those in the executive would say get it done as long as it gets done within my term because that would if the con if the result of the trial is not satisfactory if the families do not feel that they have actually won this battle for justice then it will just it it will be an empty um an empty achievement um of speed